is the moment you've all been waiting for. The show heard around the world. It's time! Live from the Food Fight Live studios in Houston, Texas. Food Fight Live! Hosted by Chris Wilson and Mike Benoit! Oh man. Oh man. What it is, Martin? Who else we got up in here? Oh, look at here. Look at here. Just people from everywhere. Dude. This card is terrible. <laughs> My God. Oh, man. You right about that, PT. You right about that. This is uh, who gives a fuck and who gives a fuck fighting who gives a fuck and who gives a fuck and a lot of who gives a shits. What it is. What it is, folks. This card is garbage. So. Whatever y'all want to talk about, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're doing. If we ain't paying attention, if you come here to hear some fights, whoo, I'm going to give you a little. But, whoo, this shit here, this shit sandwich. Oh, my God damn. A sleeper card? Yeah, make you go to fucking sleep. That's all this motherfucker's going to do. Be ready for night nice time. That's it. Just good night. Ladies and gentlemen, good night. What the fuck? Is that working? No, oh, it's working. But yeah. Anyone know any stream sites? Justin, man. I, uh. Not for this one, but for the good ones. Since it's just like us folks here. Go to OnlyFans.com for size food fight live. Subscribe. And uh, you'll be surprised at all the things that are being shown around that part of the world. I saw all dude got bit. The fuck kind of weird shit is that, dude? Who's biting people? I mean, like in a street fight, you need a motherfucker off you. Bite his ass, I guess. But, yeah. Like just straight biting folks on television. Goddamn Mike Tyson. He must have that Tyson in his head. And, and on an arm. Like what? Play you some lullaby music. Yeah. Pull that old Mike Tyson on his ass. If he'd have bit his ear, that would have been great. I saw it. Dude, it like he'd been biting for a minute. Like he just gnawing. Like on The Walking Dead, just. <laughs> of course he does. Of course he does. That shit is great, dude. But yeah, this card is uh, loss, debut. That's how we start in the card off with a loss and a debut. I mean, fuck. Why don't I have these shitty cards like at four in the afternoon when I got other shit to do and I don't have to come? I feel guilty. But I don't even want to watch this shit. That's how bad this is. Dude, uh, Justin, uh, Jake. We've had this conversation. If you just got here, dude, this shit, that's fucking, he's an old man, dude. He's almost 60 years old. Come on, dude. It's terrible. It is, No. No, no, Jake's not going to fight him up close. Now, if he gets into a gunfight in the first round, it could be bad, but it's not going to happen. He's going to be tired, wore out. We saw him fight last time. He looked like an old man because he is it's that simple. How's it, man? You see it, dude. Just chilling, just chilling. <laughs> yeah. I made stir fry for dinner. 
big chunks of chicken. It was good. I, I, uh, I've been nonstop, man. Nonstop building this, building that, doing this, doing that. Just, just constant, dude. That's all I've been doing. It's like I ain't fucking slowed down for nothing. Nothing. It has been just non fucking stop. No, Ozzy. I wish I, I played uh I played Thanksgiving. Does that count? Went out and saw the in laws in uh the Catalina foothills of Arizona and we played up there. I was there for ten days. So I got to play a lot of golf there, but I ain't played since I left. I have not played. I played good while, dude. I'll, I'll tell you one thing. If you want to talk about golf for a minute, because there's like no fights, y'all know that. But whatever, uh, dude. I hit. The, I, I struck the ball well, extremely well. And uh, I was like ecstatic, but the greens were like fucking fast, right? I don't mind fast greens. I like fast greens, to be honest. The problem is, yes, this is my version. So the problem is, is that you would be, let me, let me get this way as you can see. I don't know why I'm doing like this, like you can, like you sitting here, but anyway, so the green is uphill, right? But it's going down the mountain. So if the hole was down the mountain, no matter if it was uphill or not, it was fast. If it was downhill, like you putting downhill, but up the mountain, it was slow. And then if you had one on the side, good luck. But, dude, I, I don't think I've ever three putted so much in my life. I mean, it was just fucking terrible. Just, I shot... Uh, I think I shot 91, 91, I think is what it was. I shot a 91 and three putted like 10 times. Dude, it was so bad. It was so bad. I was like in my father-in-law I'm playing with. You know, he's like, man, you're hitting the ball so good. He's, you know, he'll always, and my mother-in-law too, she always loves to play golf because I hit the ball far and I got a pretty good, pretty good game. So they always like to play. Dude, I mean, I was putting for birdie like all day. Dude, I hit some smoking shots, like all, just cut the ball, draw the ball. I mean, it was just the base. Ball striking, it was like, just phenomenal. I had one off day because we stayed up late and drank and I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have went and played golf is what I should have done. But anyway, I did anyway. And I, I was a little, uh, you know, my, my chipping got a little cattywampus because I was being lazy and you know how that goes. But uh, fucking look at JC Penny. Oh my, Joe Martinez. But, uh, but dude, it was fucking phenomenal what competition have trophies what one competition have trophy one what i don't know I, i'm lost you got you got to try that again oh joe martinez jc penny he's calling him up right now but What competitions? I just won. I, I won a mini tour, dude, one time. A little mini tour event. Two day. Nothing crazy. I got a trophy. Let me show you. Be right back. That dude right there. It's old. I've had it a while. But this dude won that one. 
right there. Shot uh, on the championship flight, the open uh, championship flight, 71. Couldn't make a putt to save my life. Sunday went out and played lights out, 64, my lowest round ever. 71, 64 to win. Yep. That's me. <sighs> but, yeah, it was uh, it was crazy. All right, well, let me get a timer. Hold on. They fighting, even though who gives a shit. But uh, timer. There we go. What the fuck? Dude, they've got it all messed up. Holy. M- Hold on, y'all. Hold on. They fucked it up. I hate when they move shit around because then it fucks with my shit. But I can fix it. Give me just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. That's how you fix it. Live. <laughs> there. Done. But yeah, uh, yeah, it was a crazy day, dude. I couldn't make a putt on Saturday for nothing. Nothing. And Sunday, I had a good buddy of mine, Johnny Jones. He uh he passed like three years ago. Dude, it was it was absolutely insane when we played that golf course. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Let me let me let me call this fight up real quick. It's three minutes. Let's see who we got. Lewis and uh old Fern. Who 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 who's who? All right. Uh yeah. Okay. I got you. Oh Lewis. Oh shit, dude. Lewis, oh, oh, Fern, dude, hit him with a big right hand. I mean, set him down, son. He jumped up, up on top of him and tried to send the world left, right, right, ground and pound. Jesus Christ, Lewis is taking a whooping. Hammer fist, right hand, left hand. Woo, he threw up his own right hand. That was nasty. Oh, my God, y'all. If y'all just, if y'all have ever seen me commentate a fight, this is not a good example of that but he was taking a whipping right there i'm trying to think of two different things at the same time it's all fucked up he, he all right he got stood up is he into an arm yeah he got him dude he did a standing arm triangle like a standing guillotine what the fuck there's a beat down going yes yeah, god it was fucking dude he hit him with a right hand and then went to ground and pounding with everything. I mean, right hands, left hands, hammer fist, you name it. Lewis stood up, was able to get back, get got out of that situation, stood up into a guillotine arm triangle. That shit was fucking insane, dude. But anyway, so me and me and my buddy, dude, he 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 thought I was going to be the next Tiger Woods, right? He caddied for me. He looped a lot for me and you know we we played we played golf he he loved to play golf and so we got met we got uh we got paired up one day and uh he's like oh, johnny jones and i was like nice to meet you johnny jones <laughs> i'm chris you know but it, johnny if you, if you knew johnny he was a, a just good old southern boy but uh anyway he uh I hit the ball right off the bat. I mean, I'm for he goes, go ahead and go ahead and hit one, right? So I, I was like, okay, and I was playing pretty good back then. Like I, I was like, I, I shot in the in the low seventies, you know, upper sixties, consistently. You know, I was a plus or a minus. I guess that's what it was. I was like a minus four handicap, right? So. I had to give strokes every time. If I if you was a scratch golfer, I had to give you four shots. But so I was I was a good golfer. But so I hit the ball nice. It, it, the hole that the course that we was playing, the first hole's a par five, and it dog legs to the left. And I'd never played, and he'd played this golf course quite a bit, right? So he's like, dude, you see that air that uh, there was a giant pine tree that sat on the corner before it cut. 
He goes, if you can start it at that and draw it, you know, hit it right at it with a draw and it'd be perfect. Well, I fucking smoked it. And I mean, I hit it right at it. And down there I went. Then he looked at me. He was like, huh. Okay. So he gets over. He hits a shot. And we go to the next shot. And it's par five. Two. 212 yards, I think is what it was. 212 yards. I hit six iron. Right in the middle of the green. And he's like, what'd you hit? And I showed him six iron. He's like, okay. So who does your caddying? I was like, what do you mean? He goes, who caddies for you? I was like, well, I took my own bag right now. I was doing some Hooters tour shit. And uh, he's like, nope, not no more. I'm doing it. I was like, what? I, I've never met this man in my life. He's like, I'm doing it. I'm the one that's going to do it. I was like, are you sure? <laughs> he's like, yep. He goes, dude, I, no. He goes, you, I'm, we're going to win. We're going to win. And I was like, okay, man, we went and did some Monday qualifiers. Uh, dude, I have shot I shot 66 in a Monday qualifier. And uh, they only like took two spots. And 65 uh, got cut, right? 65 got cut. And they took two, two, two players. There were six people that shot 64. I mean, that's how good these dudes are just on Monday. I mean, of course, they get to the weekend and everybody froze up. But, you know, so it was a crazy situation. So we did lots of Monday qualifyings and all these things, trying to play on the PGA Tour. And I did get, uh, I did Monday qualify for, this was, this, now you all got to remember I'm old. This was back when it was the Nationwide Tour. Before, you know, it's the Corn Ferry Tour, and then it was the fucking whatever tour. But, yeah, the corn, so the Nationwide Tour, I qualified then at the Winn-Dixie Open at, in Jacksonville. But, uh, so, yeah, that was that. But, so, ever since then, you know, we went and did it. So, anyway, Johnny Jones, we're cruising, and uh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to make some putts. And uh, this was on Saturday. I'm trying to make some putts. I can't make a fucking thing. And he's like down close because we're like this half island green and slips into the fucking water. We're, this is like hole six. Slips into the water. I mean, it, it, shoes soaked. We ended up finishing the round. Him and flip-flops. Flip-flops and him toting my bag. We look like some real country bumpkins. But uh, then we went back to the hotel room. I put my forehead, Ozzy man, forehead on the wall and put my club, my putter head on the baseboard. And I'm not bullshitting you. For three hours, I did this. Just to get, because I, 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 I kept, uh, I kept like freaking like, like uh, pulling it. Yeah, I kept pull. I was like, I kept rotating, and I just wanted to get myself back on plane, dude. And I mean, I putted that way. I got back. I didn't even go to the range. I struck the ball so beautifully. I was happy with my ball striking. I was so happy. I didn't even go to the range. We went and had dinner. As soon as we got done, and I played late in the afternoon. We got done. Had, went had dinner. Went back to the room, and I put my forehead on the wall. And I mean, just. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Fucking three hours. Took a break. We went to the store, got some shit that we needed, come back, and die again. Just whoom, whoom, whoom. And, uh, you know, shot 71. So we was going to play early. <laughs> when you shoot 71, you're going to play early. There'll be no late afternoon for you. But uh, so I was like, okay. I was like, you know. He goes, how you feel? I, we, I went and warmed up on the range, and he's like, man, your ball sounds great. Sounds great. Yeah, you know, and it was just flush, just like butter, and I was so happy. So we went out there, dude, and hole one right off the bat was a nice little dog leg right, par four, 440 yards. Dude, I stung a three wood out there. Hit it with about eight feet, eight, nine feet left, and poured it right in the middle. Boom, one under. 
I was like, okay, okay, for today. You know, I was like, now we're getting somewhere. Two was a par three right off the bat, hit it, stuck about 15 foot, poured it in. I was like, Johnny's look, it, it, Johnny Jones says no words. My man was quiet, hit here, right there. See that? Yes, there, this club. I mean, dude, he was fucking spot on all day. And dude, we had a blast, man. We had a blast. It, it, I mean, it was, you know, we get done. You know, you shoot 64, you're done, you know, pretty quick. I was playing with a guy and he, you know, shook hands. He's like, man, that was a beautiful round of golf. And I was like, I appreciate you. And, uh, you know, I'm done. Like, I post a number. Nobody could do it. I won by two. Shit was crazy, dude. Shit was crazy. Me and Johnny was like, Boy, we thought we was going to the PGA Tour. Like, we done did something. All I, I, I won a little mini tour two-day event. <laughs> we thought we was motherfucking kings of the road, son. Who do I think is the greatest? So, you can look at this both ways, right? And everybody will say Jack and Arnie and... and, and Lee Trevino and all these guys, they all had their competition, right? And then you'll say Tiger, you know, he played against, you know, Ernie Els and VJ Singh and uh, Robert, Duvall, uh, David Duvall and like all these guys, right? That, you know, Mr. 59s and, but now everybody's like, oh, there's, there wasn't no competition. Well, th th that's what you think, but people were still shooting. I mean, as far as like, Dude, Tiger is like, dude, he holds so many just fucking records of just beating a field by X amount. You know, people play for second constantly in a row, you know, four, five, six times in a row winning golf tournaments. His percentage of winning was unbelievable. Uh, you know, so there, there's, there's that stuff, you know, as far as like... Uh, like Ben Hogan and all, all this boy, dude, it's like, I've gotten into this shit. Again, these fights are terrible, so we're going to talk about whatever. So if you want to be here, we're going to talk about some fightings. Trust me, when, they, when they're when on, dude just got, you know, staying in guillotine, so there's that. But uh, so, but Ben Hogan, they, they, they played in private events, 12 fucking people. And and it got that gets to count as a win. How 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 he has eighty two wins was was beyond me. A lot of his wins were just fuck was foursomes, scrambles and shit. It's like how he got to, to count those is, is beyond me. But you know you got to have a field. He won three tournaments where they only played one day. He won a couple tournaments where they only played two days. So get the fuck out of here. Jack Nichols was a phenomenal golfer, right? I mean let's don't let's don't get it fucked up. But he also didn't play against the best of the best, as it is like Tiger played against great people, right? So, yes, he played against great people, but the fields were the, the depth. You know, you got to remember, you got to back up, y'all. You got you got to think about this. I mean, if you wasn't like a rich white person, you weren't playing golf, right? I mean, so it's not like you had to deal with people from everywhere you know you better be rich and white or you ain't playing golf you know that's just the fucking way it was so you know and that's why with with tiger you know he he was so dominant if you ask me you know that that's to me what it, it, when you ask people who's a great fighter it, you look at people you know it's like yeah you may have the the record but it wasn't like that. You just, you won a lot. You know what I mean? So yeah, Ben Hogan won a lot, but he didn't dominate anything. You know, there was no dominations of anything. So I would go with Tiger, even though he hasn't won the most majors. And yes, majors are what everybody wants to count on. But winning a golf tournament's hard, dude, right? The World Golf Championships, the WGCs and shit like that. He's got 16 of those motherfuckers, dude. You're playing against the top of the field. Like the top players on the planet are the only ones that get to go, right? So when you, yes, he didn't win that many, 15 majors. He's three short. 
but 16 WGCs when you're when that is l- the literal top of the field. Only the top players get to come. That's that's it. So it's like there was so much whippings in that, right? It's like you know, it, it, it's crazy. I haven't, uh, Scott. I haven't seen that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, he can. Gino, we just show him up, or, or we just chat about him here. That's all, dude. But yeah, so I mean that. That's uh, that's my opinion on it. You know, it is what it is. But uh, you know, there, there's there's so many things. You know, like, like like they showed that stat. You know, a couple weeks back. You know, of Scotty Scheffler, he's been number one in the world. It's like, yeah, that's you know, cool story. He's got to hold number one in the world until like twenty thirty five. Before he can even tie record, tie the record with Tiger. It's like, what? He's been number one all this time. But it, it's like shit like that. When you just dominate and you win so much and you're so far out, it's that kind of shit. It, to me, it's like, that's what the greats do. You know, and holding those kinds of records and, and winning multiple times and you know, you go out there and win like at a 23% chance that he's going to win. That's fucking unheard of, dude. You know, 23% chance that I'm going to win when I go play, you know, and it's like, fuck, dude, go to the, go to Augusta and beat him by 12. I mean, fuck, dude, everybody's playing for second U S open right after that. Boom, boom. Win by 15. It's like motherfuckers is, is, is in plus digits, man. He's, under par is fucking crazy. Shit like that, dude. That that to me is what makes greats. So, hey, that's that's my opinion. You ain't got to believe it. You ain't got to listen by it or go by it. But to me, that's it. Oh, I'm all about the fuck the PGA Tour, dude. You know, this whole fucking bullshit that they get going on. When, when it happened, you can, you can go back, Ozzy. Because when they went to, to live, I was ecstatic ecstatic i was like about fucking time because that racket that those motherfuckers run and all of a sudden now they got 70 80 90 you know million more dollars for purses and all so for the last 20 years you've been fucking everybody that's what you're telling me it's like man the pga tour is of the fucking mafia for golf dude john daly's for real though 2K, man, I, I, I'm not, do I think he'll win another major? Who is going to have to, sun's going to have to shine just right. You know, I mean, just right. But, do I think he can win again? I, uh, yeah. But because, I, I mean, look at Arnie, dude. Ar- Ar- Arnold Palmer won a lot, man, with that weird cut off, sawed off swing. The same thing with, with Gary Player. They had weird swings, didn't hit the ball real far. You know, and golf is in here. If you've played this game, you know. And 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 with, with Tiger, that's another thing. He, he's so intimidating. When you see him at the top of the leaderboard, you better be starting to fucking play, dude. Because he's going to dominate, you know. And so that intimidation helps. Will he dominate like he did before? No. Mm-mm. If he wins another major, I would be shocked. But do I think he can win a PGA Tour event? Yeah. Look at Matthew Porter being a fucking real one right off the bat today. But yeah, do I think he can win? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Augusta, if you ask me, that I think that's prime time for him. Because yeah, you can hit it far, but that golf course, because it's so the elevation changes and the and the uneven lies where you're constant the balls constantly blow your feet or above your feet and be able to hit in these little funky ass shots. Well, do I think he won now? I think he needs I think he needs a little bit more. U.S. Opens I think are hard because they're fucking firm and fast. Um, like uh, the open, like go across the pond. 
man, he's got a good chance because that ball will run and you can it, and he can play that kind of golf course. So it's like there's it, it's definitely uh, it's a possibility. I'm not saying yeah, he's gonna win. Nah, I'm, I'm, my man's my man's getting up there. Uh, fuck. All right, here we go. Round numero uno. Uh, let me get the fight card. Dude, I'm, I'm like just chatting. My bad, y'all. Old Yusuf and old Billy. Billy. All right, let me get a timer. Uh, let's see who we got. He... Uh, Oh, Yusuf, dude, trying to go downstairs with some late low calf kicks. Not real great with him. He's being a little cautious, dude. Oh, Billy's got him a little nervous because he, he, as soon as he kind of like went to step in there with that left hand, dude. Oh, 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 Yusuf was gone, son. I mean, he was gone. Nice low calf kick for Yusuf right there. That was a good one. Billy took it in stride, though. Still coming back forward. Yusuf is not. He's not, I mean, he is on his bicycle. You would you would think this is round three, to, the way he's getting away. Trying to go for that oblique kick. Yusuf just popped his ass real fast, though. Got out of the way, though. Billy tried to counter, but it did not work. It did not work. Billy's still coming in there. As soon as he flinches, though, Yusuf, like, picks up his pace and moves left or right. Just depends on which way he's going. But he has not stopped yet. Billy tried to lunge, coming in with a flying knee, did a belly, didn't work. And overhand right, still didn't land. Yusuf working out low calf kick. Billy tries to send one back with a heavy inside leg kick, swinging a miss on that. Oof, Yusuf tried to come flying in there with a nice knee. Nice oblique kick. or uh, that, Looked like he was going for an oblique kick, but it almost went to the belly. Right off the hip. Did, uh, did Billy. Ripping left hand to the body right there for Yusuf. Then comes right back upstairs with a nice left hand to the top. There you go. Nice front kick from Billy right to the sternum. Dude, Yusuf is like, I mean, my man is is on the move, son. Woo! Hit him with a left and a right hand. Come up there with a nice knee. All Yusuf right this second. Again with that left jab. It's working. Left, then right hand again for Yusuf. I mean, he ain't stopped. And Billy is like, you can tell he's kind of getting frustrated. Lunging jab again. Make it two times for Yusuf. Use him looking good, boy. Uh-oh. Billy run his ass into a corner, though. Caught him with that last hand. Trying to shoot down there for a double. Yusuf drops a couple elbows on the side of that head. Old Billy stood up quick. Didn't like those. No, sir. Still one underhook in for Billy. He's a little, little bit of wrist fighting right now. Keeping that forehead right on his chest. Yusuf just gets out of it. Pushes off. Moves on about his life. Yusuf is smiling. Billy's not. Woo! Yusuf tried to hit him with a right hand. Ducks back out of the way. Billy cracked his ass. Hit him again with another right hand. Down he goes to the knees. Pops right back up to Yusuf. I don't know if he slipped right there, but... Oh, big knee from Yusuf. Looked like Billy got the skeddies. Yusuf is going for it, son. Big left hand. Check right hand. Trying to go in there again. Does Yusuf with that nice knee to the midsection, but almost miss. Yusuf tries to grab a hold of that, that single. Comes stepping in there with it again. Dude, Yusuf just hits him with a left hand. Sits him right on his back. Billy is in trouble. Yusuf's in guard. Go nasty elbow. Ground and pound elbows are never good. Try to hit him with another, another one that did not work. Little hammer fist there. All Yusuf right this second. 117 to go. Oh, my God. It's terrible. Hey, Cheryl. What's going on? The stream keeps lagging. Is it lagging? Let me see. I'm still on time. That's weird. That is doing that. Sorry about that. Is anybody else seeing the lag or what? I don't know. No? No lag? Okay. Not for me. Okay. Well, I, I, usually if, if there's any kind of, you know, latency there, I'll, I'll be behind and I'll have to hit my live button to get caught back up. Dude, Yusuf is on the back with a body triangle in 30 seconds trying to put that choke in. That may be deep, son. That may, no, it's on the chin. It's on the chin, but 
twenty. That's got a sting, son. He's trying to pull the hand off. Yusuf is cranking on that neck, son. Right on the mouth, covering the mouth, just pulling right on the bottom of that chin. Ten seconds now. Billy starts cracking him with that that his left hand, and and Yusuf lets go, son. God damn, that had to sting. I, I mean, he was cranking on his ass. Let's end round one. The screen is frozen. What? Might just be my YouTube. Yo, what's up, Derek? It's done it twice. The screen is frozen. Let me let me let me look at my uh, my stats. What's my CPU? Thirty frames, dude. I, my I have no drops, zero drop frames. I mean, zero percent. Run about five thousand kilobytes right here. Full grain. I mean, my it's running. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not seeing it on my side. Like, if you've ever done a live, it, like, gives me my stats and what's going on and my stream health and stuff like that and my connection. It shows all that stuff, my analytics, everything right there. So when, I, when, I'm, when I'm looking at this, it's, like, excellent connection. Every, like, everything is moving right along I, I haven't seen any dips or any jumps or bounces or anything billy trying to okay all right oh shit round two fuck they're getting out of quick son that was a fast minute all right here we go billy tried to lunge in with the left hand swinging a miss on that whoo trying to fire out some left and some right swinging and a missing is billy though use of tags him with a nice left hand tried to come in there with a knee gives him the sweep the leg johnny Sweeps old Billy right down to the ground. Dude, Yusuf is getting fancy with his footwork. Puts him right on his back. Crawls into guard. I mean, that was that was nasty. Look at old Billy trying to go for a rubber guard here. That's not going to work. Dude, Yusuf got his forehead like planted on your chest. <laughs> trying to get into side. Oh, nasty elbow from Yusuf. Billy's upside down. Damn near north to south. Both the gentlemen. But Yusuf is like, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, he tried to go for an arm bar or an arm triangle. That did not work. Billy had to give up his back. It's not good. Yusuf trying to crawl into a body triangle, standing up. Oh, shit. He may be in trouble now. He don't have the body triangle in. He's still crawling over top. And there it goes. Yeah. Billy rolls over. Yusuf got the body triangle deep, son. Deep. Now, now, now all it boils down to is some wrist fighting. Billy's tired, dude. Mouth wide open, breathing hired. That may be deep, folks. That one there may be deep. Yep, that's underneath the chin. Yep, that's it. That's up. Tapped him out. Rear naked. Rear naked joke. Dude, Billy getting a whoop. Yusuf was like... In his ass, son. Rear naked. Gone. Yes. I was like, man, you're right about that. Somebody's got to do his goddamn job. But yeah, dude. I, so, Ozzy, no. It's sad to say I've been playing zero golf, dude. I want too bad, though. Does that count? <laughs> I want to play before it fucking turns into Satan's asshole around here, dude. It's fucking so hot, and it got and it's hot already, dude. It's hot. It, it's been hot. Been in the seventies, upper eighties, and shit, dude. It's like, oh my god, fuck. That means it's gonna be hot as shit this summer. Oh, Charlie. Dude, he's got a powerful swing. My my man can hit the ball. I mean, he it, it's just he's uh he, he he he's got to have that drive, you know. And and with with Tiger being as private as he is, 
I mean, you see in in the fucking mansion they live in. So, I mean, you know, it's a little different. You know, I'm sure Tiger is not Earl. You know, Earl was extremely aggressive, right? So, I'm sure Tiger's not being that aggressive. So, the drive that Tiger had, I mean, I don't think you'll ever see a guy be as dominant for as long. I, I mean, I... I'm not saying, I guess I can't, I'm saying it may not happen, but to win 82 PGA Tour events, 83, that's fucking insane, dude, into modern, modern golf, not when you can play for one day and get a goddamn trophy, let's not, take Ben Hogan smooth out of that shit, dude, but, uh, what, dog passed away on Mars 10, hard cover, but man, here with live, best live, Steeler Nation, dude, I hear you. It's terrible. My dog, Ivy. Y'all seen Ivy on the show? She died last year, dude. Oof. That shit was... This is like losing my kid, dude. I I don't know. I've never lost a child. But that shit was so hard. Like, that, that shit fucked me up, dude. I was like very... Just very sad. I, I mean, I it, dude, it was... uh Yes, dealer. I, I'm hearing you, dude. What's up, Doc? But yeah, dude. I, I it's uh, mm-mm. yeah. It's like, uh, yeah. I, re- dude. I'm gonna tell you, I, I, Steeler. I, and again, this, this, this. Uh, 42 degrees here. A couple of windows up. Feel nah, That's nice. But uh, and this may have happened to some people, Steeler. I, I, I don't know. But uh, I will tell you, like, we have another dog. My daughter got a dog for her birthday a few years, five years ago, I guess now. And Ivy was still alive, right? If that dog wasn't in this house, dude, I'm, I, I don't want another dog. Like, that's how bad that shit was for me. Like, I no. Once, once this dog is gone, I'm all done. And I feel sorry for this dog that we have. We have a Havanese. My daughter has a Havanese. And it's a cute little lap ankle dog. You know, it lays and fucks around. And Oh, dude, I'm, I'm, Steeler, I'm telling you, I love that dog more than a lot of people. <laughs> but uh, I have zero desire for uh, for another dog. Like, No. No, I'm, I'm, my, my, my dog days is done. I know some people are like, oh, man, that happens. You know, get you another one. It'll be fine. No, 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 no. I, I I don't want this dog here that's here now. It's like I don't give a shit. I try to be nice to the dog. I feed the dog, water the dog, make sure it goes outside. And, you know, and I play with the dog when I absolutely have to. But other than that, it's up to the girls. Y'all play with the dog. You know, it's like I could really just not give a shit. You know, and and that, that's bad. You know, but for my girls, I try to be nice to it and all the stuff. But I don't care about that dog. It was like when my dog Ivy died. It's like the rest of the dogs I just don't give a fuck about no more. It's like it, it's done. It's like I just don't 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 care. I really don't. So, I understand, Steeler. I I hear you. I hear, I, I, yeah, dude, I, I, it was, shit was rough. Like, I, I don't, I think the last time I cried like that was my grandfather died. I mean, it, it's been, a, and that, and that was years ago, dude. I, I mean, it's been a long time, but yeah, I haven't, uh, nah, dude, nah. Oh, Scott, I, I, I Dude, Ivy was like, traveled the world. Like, when I was playing music and shit, dude, that dog was like with me a lot. Like, a lot. So, it's like, Ivy was a different breed, dude. Very, I mean, just, Ivy was different. I've had dogs my whole life. But after that dog, I don't want no more dogs. I don't want to do that again. You know, I just, no. Fuck no. No, so Steeler, I, 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 uh, I feel for you, buddy. 
I feel for you. It is, uh, that's terrible. So sorry to hear that. So sorry to hear that. But yeah, I don't, uh, my dog days is done when this dog's done. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, Ivy was a little Jack Russell, right? I, I, I guess what, the, the best way I can explain it, and most people that have met Ivy, they they all know, it's like Ivy had a personality, right? I know all dogs kind of have a, a thing, but Ivy was like, you know, like a like a little human, you know. She she had to go to let's say she didn't need to go outside take a piss. She cruised over the door and sit up like this, not joking, at the door like, hey, you let me outside real quick. I appreciate it. Go outside, take a piss, come right in. I didn't have to tell her to go take a piss. I didn't have to tell her to go take a shit. I didn't have to tell her nothing. Like you need to go outside. Yes. Do a little circle at the door. Shroom. She goes out. No sniffing around, finding every fucking no. Take a piss or shit or both and back in. No, no. This dog I got now, I got to tell it 15 fucking times. Go potty. God don't mind. It drives me insane. But yeah, dude, it was like she had, her personality was, you know. Was crazy, but Steeler, I hear you, dude. I feel your pain, or I know your pain. I don't feel it. I'll be honest, but I know it. Damn sure do. But you get used to him, you know. I've lived a long time for Jack Russell. I thought I'd get a little better out of, but she made fourteen years. But yeah, I was like, but dude, it was, uh, you know, she just went from nonstop to she slowed down like dramatic, like what, what, what you doing? Like I separated her and the other dog, you know, because it was like, I thought she had like hurt herself because she had like a little limp. And then we went to the doctor. She had like a heart murmur. And it was like, yeah, but this is like little. I've seen some like 10 times as big. We're going to give her some medicine. She'll be good to go. Because I was like preparing myself because I thought something was wrong. Then they would tell me this. So then, so that, that's what I think fucked me up a, a, a lot too. It's like I got all like, oh, okay. Like I was, I wasn't ready. I was ready because I thought that something was wrong with her. And I was like, oh, fuck, you know. And I was like, I guess preparing myself over that week. But then they had like put all my hopes back. Like, oh yeah, she's fine. We're going to give her this medicine. She'll be back to normal. And then two days later, it was like, or three days. I was like, I was not ready. I thought I was ready. I was not ready. And I, w- I had always, and because I loved Ivy so much, I'd always said I will never let her just be in pain and I'll, I'll put her down. And people who don't do that are terrible. And I, dude, I, I've stood on that box for years. I don't mind telling you. But I'm here to tell you when the time came, I don't know if I could have did that. That's the facts. That's the truth. Truth, truth, truth. It's like, uh, that shit was rough. Oh, that's crazy. Damn, Jesus. I don't know if I want something to live that long. I don't even know if I want to live that long. I'm just joking. 50 years. That's crazy for an animal, though. That's fucking crazy. Of course, Sonic. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, dude. You can't be biting people. Get the fuck out. But Dana's weird, dude, when it comes to that kind of shit. Like, if you if you are a fucking weirdo and you, like, try to fight a referee or or hit somebody after, the, like, the, you know, like, boxing, you know, how they box each other and, 
you know, after the bail, they'll get in a little fight. Yeah, Dana will fucking fire your ass. Yeah, dude, you can't, you can't, nah. You, 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 mm-mm. Scott K has a turtle that's 60. <laughs> dude, but yeah, biting someone, that's like so aggressive in a professional fight. Now, if you're fighting for your life in these streets, you do whatever you got to do. I'll pull your fucking eyeballs out. But, like, if you're a professional and you're getting your ass whipped, I mean, you either sit down like last week, like old bitch did, and cry about your eye like a whiny bitch, or you bite and get kicked out. Pick one. Yeah. Yeah. It's for sex. But, yeah, nah, dude. You can't... Nah, nah, man. You can't be biting, folk. Hell nah. The fuck's the matter with you? Biting people? Man, get the fuck out of here. Hey, get the fuck out of here. Biting people. It's, like, weird anyway. Again, now, if you're fighting for your life, that's a whole different story. You do whatever you got to do. But this, you, you, you know. And my man bit the shit out of him. You know what I mean? And on top of that, he took his mouthpiece out to bite him? What? That, that's, that's on purpose. You, you, you purposely took your mouthpiece out to bite my man. In the arm. It's not like he was gotten away and was like gritting your teeth and, you know, it was an accident. No, you you bit him on purpose with no mouthpiece. So, yeah, you're motherfucking fired. Get your shit and get the fuck out, dude. Yeah, I mean that's that's so that's so aggressive and weird at the same time to be biting people in a professional fighting thing. I mean Mike Tyson's uh, something wrong with that man anyway. But uh Dude, he took his mouth guard out. That's what I'm telling you. He took it out and bit him. Spit it out. He spit it out to bite him. It's like, nah, dude, you don't get to... You, you, you knew what you was doing. That's why I said it wasn't like it was an accident and you kind of got in a way and his arm was on your mouth and you was gritting your, you know, gritting your teeth, so to speak, in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a situation. Nah, that's not how it was. You spit your mouthpiece out and bit him. Are they doing walkouts right now? No, Sonic. Nothing. They get commercials. No, there's nothing happening right now. Yeah, they was clenched up, but he spit it out. And he bit him. So it's like, yeah, I mean, that's... No, nah, dude. You, you. And, and on top of that, it's like, how do you think you're going to get away with that? Seriously. My man has a giant bite mark on him. It's not like you need him in the nuts while nobody, you know, while the ref wasn't looking. You know, or tried to do some dirty shit, you know, in the clinch or, you know, hanging on the inside of the gloves, pulling or, you know, doing doing some shit you ain't supposed to be doing. Pulling hair or something when you had an opportunity, you know, because y'all was like in the, in the clinch. So you you hold up like this, holding onto his hair or something like that. Okay. You know, but bite someone? Nah, dude. You ain't never seen somebody get... I mean, that's what, like in the beginning, you couldn't eye gouge or bite. You know, but you, I, I seen motherfuckers just get kicked right in the date. Give a fuck, dude. Went to see Late Night with the Devil tonight. Huh, I have to check that out. 
They're showing they're showing some old uh replays. Now I got I just got a uh thing that says YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain a smooth streaming. So let me take a look here. What's going on? I don't know where that's coming from. Keyframe is good there. Let me check out something. Two second. Okay, that's not bad. My bit rate's good. Yeah, I don't... I, I, that's the first time I've seen that, though. It said, error, YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. As such, viewers will experience buffering. And that just popped up. The volume is low? You gotta turn your phone up, dude. I listened last week. I have not touched the volumes at all. And I listened uh, last week. And it, I, on my phone, and it's loud as fuck. So you, I, it must be something going on there. All right, Sonic. Yeah, it just popped up here in front of me, so I just wanted to say something because somebody brought it up early. But uh, no, nah, dude, it, you got to turn it up or something because when I played it on my phone from last week, I didn't even have my phone all the way. Like, I had it like halfway, and that shit was plenty loud. Plenty loud. Now, if you're watching it on your TV, there's something weird with like it going to the television. It's it's a, it, it can be a little low. You have to crank it up. But if you're like watching it on an iPad or iPhone or or on a, on a phone, cell phone, it's fine. But yeah, I mean, there's that. Okay, yeah. I have the TV on mute. I'm watching on my phone. Oh, yeah, no. I mean, I, I, I watched it on the phone. I'm telling you, I looked it up on purpose to see. And it was because I wanted to see because there were some people that said that, but it was only a problem. Here, let me, let, let me, let me pull it up. I'm telling you, I looked it up on purpose to see. That my volume is halfway. See, I mean, it, it, my, vo my my volume on my phone's halfway. That's how loud it is. It, it, it's loud. I, I have a a thing I've, I've showed people, but it's right here. I mean, I am my uh, my faders are up there. I'm not saying that you're not right, Justin. I'm just saying that it's uh, it might be just something going on there. <laughs> yeah, Derek, dude. I I I I was trying to. They changed it, by the way. It used to tell me that there was a. Uh, I'm an Aspen. My stuff is janked. Okay, my bad, dude. But uh, it used to tell me when there was an ad going to run and where I could pause it. They don't do that shit no more. I guess they're like, fuck it. I like that. That way, while there's a fight going on, I can, like, pause it. So now I don't know how to do that, which is very frustrating. There's a little pause up there on the money sign, and what I'm looking at. And that may be the new thing. And then the plus... I don't know if the plus adds it back or unpauses it. I'll, I'll, I'll check it out when there's a fight. But while there's not, I've been just letting it roll. But yeah, that's what I check too on my phone. I put the volume at halfway and seen. I was like, yeah, that's plenty loud enough. I thought it might I thought it might have been a little too loud, but I'll just let it go. I was like, eh. but you know, I was like, I'll leave it a little up. People need to turn their phones down. We can turn them down a little bit, you know. But I I, I kept it high for people who watch on their TV. Oh, Cameron and old Peyton.
seven and zero, undefeated. Nine and one. Yeah, I saw that. Hmm, I don't know about that. All right, here we go, y'all. Round. All right, I got him. I had to get him. I was a little off of time there. All right, I got him pretty synced up right now. All right. And here we go, boy. These boys went right to the middle. There was no messing around, son. Oh, Cameron tried to go downstairs with a low calf kick right off the bat, dude. Peyton's like, no, sir. I'm staying right here in front of you. Cameron again trying to go upstairs with a high kick. Whoo! Kicked my man in the ankle. Peyton tried to lunge it in with a left hand. Almost took a bazooka check left. Peyton again. Nice two-piece right up the middle. Went to work that leg kick and like, uh, oh, oh, Cameron, dude, it just stood there. Ripping kick to the body for Cameron. Oof, Peyton sent one back to the midsection. That shit was nasty. Stiff. Nice oblique kick. Cameron trying to back him up there. Tried to step underneath the left hand. Hit him with the overhand right. Lunging in there with a nice right hand does, does old Peyton. Cameron follows it right up with a nice two-piece himself. Peyton again lunges back in there with a nice knee or tried to. What the fuck is going on with this thing? Oof, heavy inside leg kick from Cameron. Cameron tried to hit him with a left hand, swinging a miss on that. Peyton pops his ass with his own right hand. Stiff left down the middle from Peyton. Dude, Peyton is uh, kind of piecing him up here a little bit. Kind of piecing him up. Woo! Tried to run in there with a right hand, swinging a miss on that. Check right. Scattied them legs at Cameron. Peyton is just waiting on him, son. Ripping kick to the body from Cameron that time. Peyton grabs the foot, lifts it up real high, steps into a knee. Tried to duck down into a single right into Peyton's knee, son. Ripping left hand. Left hand, right hand, all to the belly. Goes upstairs with a left and a right hand. All those lands. Two more to the midsection. Big knee. Left hand. Right elbow just out of reach that time for Peyton. Cameron is in trouble. Slow down. Try to do it again. Try to step in that knee. Step in elbow. Make it two times. Big left hand. Another knee. Check left. Uppercut right hand. Dude, Cameron's got a chin, folks. Holy shit. Peyton has hit him with the house, the sink, refrigerator. My man's still standing there. 240 to go round one. Cameron has to damn near sit on his backside for a second. Tries to stand back up. Peyton sits down in guard. Both gentlemen do stand back up. Right back to the middle they go. Peyton's just calm, relaxed. Cameron is just trying to figure out what the fuck is going on right now. Holy shit. Whoo! Cameron tried to throw an overhand left. Chips off the shoulder. Did not work that time. They both, one of them tried to do a spinning back kick. The other one tried to do a knee. Whoo! Peyton go upstairs with a high kick, skips off the top of the head, hits him with a nice left hand, all Peyton, heavy inside leg kick again, Peyton. Cameron's taking it, though. I don't know how much longer. Tried to come in there with like a Superman hoe. Didn't work. Peyton again just steps in there with a nice right hand, swinging a miss with the next two, though. Whew, Cameron, nice jab. Nice jab. Peyton made him pay for it with a nice three-piece, left, right, left. Nice front kick, followed up with the left hand. Peyton still right there in front of him, 136 to go. Left hand uppercut, then left and right upstairs for Peyton. Lunging in there with a nice right hand. Cameron tries to go down, tries to go with a nice body kick, grabs the leg, pops in with the left hand, spinning back kick to the sternum. Stern, 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 fucking Cameron to the sternum. Gosh, don't mighty. Kicked him right in a ding ding. Kicked him right in a ding ding. Mm. He made him back up, catch his breath. He goes, I'm good. He was trying to kick him in the midsection there, but he kind of turned. He didn't mean to. It was an accident. It was an accident. He didn't do it on purpose. I don't I don't think he did anyway. 
He's trying to kick him out there on the hip, and it just kind of top of his foot run around it right there. 52 seconds to go. Oof. Dude, Cameron's trying to get in there, throw some hands. Swinging a miss on those three. Downstairs with a low calf kick. All Cameron. Peyton's trying to do it. Dude, Cameron is like coming back, son. Both gentlemen stepping in with a nice jab. Again with a nice jab. Dude, Peyton is fucking just relentless, though. Left hand, right hand. Cameron tried to go upstairs with a high kick, swinging a miss on that. Peyton ducks up underneath, tries to hit him with a right and a left hand, swinging a miss on that, and the body kick. None of that landed. 20 seconds to go. Cameron shoots around there, goes with a nice calf kick on the outside. Lunging in there with a nice right hand. Cameron actually making him pay for those two, but follows it up with a nice right hand down the middle. Cameron again, overhand left, pops his ass. This turned out to be a good fight, Scott. You right about that, sir. Tried to go with a little sweep the leg, Johnny. Hmm. Damn, that was pretty good. Dude, Peyton is patient, but I'm here to tell you. Whew. That shit was crazy. That was good, though. I thought I thought he was going to knock him out. Oh, yeah. Mikey B has like, got the, the temp health status. Yeah, I thought he was going to fucking... I thought it was over. But, dude, Cameron took some monsters. I mean, some bazookas. Shit was wild. What the fuck? They just showed an Xfinity commercial, and the dude got, like, some cheese or something on his arm or something, and dude licked it off. The shit was aggressive. And one day. One day. Oh, that knee hit him in the shoulder. I thought it hit him. I thought he I thought he knee knelt right into it. He did not. It looked like he did. That stepping elbow was nasty, though. They're showing some replays right now. All right, here we go. Round numero dos. Peyton still trying to come in there. Who? Oh. Big left hand sits him down. Here come the hammer fist, ladies and gentlemen. My man pulled a gypsy. I mean, I thought he was night, night, son. Peyton is dove on him, hitting him with left hand, left hand, left hand, left hand. What are you doing? I mean, he stopped it, but it seemed like, uh, I mean, you wait till my man sits up to stop the fight. Dude, he was on his back flat for a good like five, six seconds. And I mean, Peyton was cracking his ass. He sits up and grabs a hold and starts, uh, dude, he hit him with a check left. And I mean, it was, oh, hammer fist. And then the hammer fist coming. They're showing some replays. Oh, dude, I mean, just that check left. He walked right into it. I mean, right on his back. Here come the hammer fist. I mean, bunches of them. Punches and bunches. Left hand, left hand. I mean, he's cracking him. But my man took some more beatings. Took well, why you why you stop showing it now? He took some lot of beatings and finally got sitting on his butt. And then the referee dives in. It's like you should have dove in a long time ago if you was gonna dive in. Why you wait until he sits up? Well, uh, I mean, he he lost. Yes, he should have stopped it a long time ago with the with the big left hands. But don't wait until he gypsies and comes back. And is sitting up now, fighting, or you like trying to like control this shit? And that was that was like way late. It's like the fuck? Way too many unanswered hits. Yeah, I know they had to stop it, but I'm just saying it was like you waited till he sat up to do it though. Should have stopped it while he was getting still flat on his back. Dude, I, 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 yeah, I mean, he, he did a good job, but he, he's got a long way to go, dude, because Cameron took some shots, but Cameron, like, popped his ass a few good times. And you get in there with those professional guys, boy, you're going to go nine nine. I mean, you got to I mean, you got to start somewhere, but you got some he's got some work to do. He looked good starting out. How about that? Let's go there. He looked good starting out. 
But you you climb those ranks too much, you get a number next to your name, whoo, they're going to fuck you up. You're going to sleep. You cannot get just cracked like that in the fucking mouth. Dude, Cameron hit him with some good ones. He just didn't have enough. Those boys with numbers next to their names, they got enough. Just in time. Uh, he's usually that guy that sits right here. <laughs> or he used to sit right here, but, he, he, you know, he's got a, he got a little business going and, you know, he's been, he got to work on Saturdays and shit. So he's like pretty much, you know, he, he's been here twice this year. So he made the last pay-per-view and then like one before that, but he used to be here every Saturday. Boom, 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 boom. But for years. No, I'm not acting like he just randomly. I mean, Mikey B always took some time off. Just don't get it fucked up. We all know part time, but lately it's been like a lot, lot. Yes, yes, <laughs> Mikey B. Yeah, that's what I said. But my, my man took some vacations, y'all. I I hate to do this, but I got to take a piss so bad, dude. I'm dying. My eyes are floating and we ain't even close. Can't even see. I'm sorry about that. So talk amongst yourselves. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, boys and girls. Yeah, part-time. Part-time is right. I mean, he's always been part-time. But then he went to seasonal. <laughs> now he's just temp. Somebody said the co-main got canceled. Who said that? Play some Skinnerd. I do just so happen to have this model. Y'all just got here, dude. There was like no fights to get knocked out. So we're just playing around. Hang out, enjoy the show. It's fun. Scott. Bullshit. That, that's the easiest in all my years of playing. I never learned. Dude. D. C. Minor. See. 
Sit. That's simple, man. <laughs> I think it's so dumb. Ah, that's easy, Doc. Just. There's no fights. If you got here, oh, uh, oh, Peyton fucked up old Cameron. Fucked him up. It was terrible. Second round. So they, you know, they're trying to fill some time. Why? I don't know. But they're trying. So we got Dobson and old, old Edmund. Yeah, I mean, it's okay to do that. Yeah.
No, it's not that much, but it's... It's like 60-40. It's not great. You know one of my favorite songs to pick was this one. Slide E, Scott. You can use your middle finger or not, but like. That's all that is. There's a little, there's a little breakdown in there I can show you, but it, 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 that's not that bad. She never mentions a world.
Why is it not coming up? There it goes. Perfect. All righty. Old Dobson's trying to heavy inside leg kick. Oh my god, that had to. That was that was way up high on the thigh too. I mean, whack. Holy moly's. Oh, Edmund tried to come in there with a little right hand, dude. I, uh, old Dobson, dude, he's, he's pretty quick. Pretty quick fella. Dude, Dobson looks like a fucking tree trunk, though. I mean, he is so big. A lot of leg kicks going on right now. A lot of leg kicks. Edmund tried to lunge in with a left hand. Almost took a two-piece to the mouth Tried to do so. Almost. Almost. Still trying to work leg kicks. Not a whole lot of strikes, though. Oof. There he goes. Edmund flies in there, son, with a left hand after he took two pieces to the mouth, though, from Dobson. Dobson tried to get a little fancy, but he almost overcommitted. Big check left from Edwin. Edmund, excuse me. But he took a nice right hand in the process from Dobson. AJ standing right there in front of him, dude. He's like, nah, I, I ain't got nowhere to go. Tried to lunge back in there with a nice left hand. Swing and a miss on that one. Still working that heavy inside leg kick. Woo! Dobson fast, son. Hit him with a left and a right hand. Big knee to the top of the head. Check left. Skeddies the legs. Dude, Edmund is in trouble. Dude, Dobson is taking his time. Again, steps into the left hand. Swing and a miss on that. Edmund tries to wrap him up. Gives him the sweep, takes him right down to the back, but Edmund is is somewhere on Queer Street, just trying to get back to life. Mm -mm. Dobson tried to crawl out of that dude and almost got rear naked. Almost, dude. Edmund's so exhausted that he couldn't like hang on, and Dobson just kind of like wormhole out of that bastard. So Dobson's now in guard. Edmund's flat on that back, dude. I'm telling you, AJ should have jumped on him. Big left hand from up top. Another left hand. That one skipped off the cheek into the mat. My God. Elbows to the top of the head. Make it two times for Edmund. Dobson's trying to hit him with the left and right hands. Keeping that forehead flat on the sternum. He's trying to posture up on his knees, but as soon as he does, Edmund, Edmund, as soon as he does, Edmund grabs around the backside of the neck, pulls hard down, not allowing him to move too much. Edmund tried, almost got out of it that time. Tried to throw both legs over and climb out of the way. Dobson just laid right back down. Big elbow, make it two times, three times, four times at the top of the head. Jesus Christ, Edmund is going backwards, dude. Uh, he he must have got that second win because he was in trouble. Was a uh, Edmund, nice knee, both gentlemen standing, heavy inside knee, in the clinch. Edmund turns Dobson into the cage. Did Dobson get tired? He blow his load? Edmund's trying to drag him back down, does drag him back down, but almost gets mounted in, in, in the meantime. Has to spin back around, get to his knee, and stand back up. Dude, he almost fell into a full mount. The Dobson. <laughs> that would have been terrible. One minute to go. Dobson pushes off of him. Edmund's still right there in front of his face. I don't know if I don't know if Dobson got a little tired. Sticked him, stuck him again with a left hand. AJ tried to hit him with a left and a right hand. Swing and a miss on that check right. AJ still using that left jab to try to keep Edmund back, but dude, Edmund's coming. After getting skated up, dude, I mean he is he ain't all there, but he's back some. These boys are swinging, son. Edmund cracked him with a big right hand. Dobson goes down. Hammer fist, big left, left. Elbow, elbow, left hand, left hand, left hand. Uh, he's sleeping, sir. Could you fucking stop? Jesus Christ, what is what is the referee doing, son? I mean, he is out. It was like, wham, 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 wham. Like fucking five times. Motherfucking, please stop it. Jesus. Dude, Edmund was... Was on Queer Street, dude. Legs is is like, and AJ did not jump on him. He should have jumped on him right then. He let my man regroup and got knocked the fuck out, son. Edmund, dude, knocked out. Knocked out Dobson. 
that step in left, hit him with that overhand right, and they're showing it again. I mean, his knees, my man looked like Elvis Presley for a minute. I'm telling you, he was in bad shape. And then took a knee to the forehead. And then a big left hand, Elvis again with the knees. Holy moly. And then Edmund hit him with a right, left, left, right. And when he went down, dude, he started just bazooka left, left, elbow, 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 left hand. He's out. Two, three, four, four, two fucking many. And I mean big ones, son. Big ones. Holy moly. That was crazy. Michigan Woodman's like, back to work, bitch. (laughs) <laughs> that shit was crazy let me turn that timer off holy shit that was a good one there we go but uh yeah that was good that was good good call there uh Michigan Jackson, uh, you know how it goes. Huh? What kind of guitar lessons are you talking about, Scott? You've been playing a long time, dude. What you, what, what you want to know? What you want to know? I'll teach you. You ain't got to travel down here. We can do like a uh, video call or something. Oh, anyway, on that, uh, on that break... It's that E, dude. I mean, you can learn the fingers, right? And all the little extra, but if you just do that E and then separate it, that'll work. You can do it, like, acoustically. You know, if you're trying to, like, get it down, you need to have that lead guitar in there. But, and then that and then that little uh, bridge there, it goes to an A. Right? Back to E. That's it. And it goes to A. It's, it's pretty simple, dude.
I really like that E chord shuffle thing you do. I can't get it. it, it okay, look. This is an E. So play an E, and then put this down here. So B, B string, third fret. So play an E. Try to stay on it, off of it, like. And that's just an A. So you can play an A or an A7. I usually like an A7. It's a little more bluesy, you know. So if you want it like sharp, like uh, like John Anderson when he uh, swinging, you know. So. Same way. Like, uh, well, hey, 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 mama, look at little sister. The lad in the backyard was shaking like that's that, that same, same B or that same E minor seven. And then the same thing with Pride and Joy. She my Pride and Joy. Well, she my sweet little baby, and I'm her little love boy. Just like And I'm just I'm just palm muting here. How about that E part when you play a train? Uh that's a G dude. That's like this. Play a C minor seven, and then, and then here, so second frame or third second string, 
or fifth string, excuse me. Let me go backwards here. Third fret, A. Second fret, A. And then A minor. So. A minor. just picking after that, right? So just palm mute with your hand. Keep your hand going. You're trying to you're trying to let it vibrate through there. She doesn't know the dress. Same thing over and over. And then it goes. And then an E minor. Well, she wants to be the way. So, yeah, I mean, I can show you all. Do this. A lot of these songs are not that difficult. But I, I do a lot of palm muting with this hand. You know, even when I'm like, uh, like the sublime, you know. to use this I played so much acoustic right by myself so I had to learn to like have a drum so that's where that come from this whenever you want to. Let me see what we're talking about. Tunes. Tune. Let's listen. It's that uh, thing you do in E is... I think it's an old Scotty Moore lick. Uh, 
Scott. Scott K, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I know what you're talking. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like a. Uh, Play at the back though. Play back here on the bridge, right? And you can do and that's the same thing with like uh well I hear the train come rolling round the band. Lying seen the sunshine seems I don't know where I'm still getting false in prison. A7. Cop keeps dragging on. Well I hear the into that Elvis if you want to, right? It's the same chords. Well, that's all right, mama. That's all right with you. Well, that's all right, mama. Any way you want it to. That's all right. That's all right. Well, that's all right now, mama. Any way you do. And I would do that, I would go in, I'd weave in and out, shit like that. Yeah. But yeah, I just I did the same thing. But I think that's what you're talking about. You're trying to do this play back here. I'll play back here at the back. So I'm playing, I'm not playing over the hole. It's not the same. You have to back it up. So play back here, and it'll give you that more of that, that older flat top. With those old F holes in them, you know what I mean? It'll give you more of that old flat top sound. But yeah, the more that, you know, just the more that you want it to go or to sound that way, just play it back even further, yo. I'll show you though. I'll show you. I don't want to. I don't mind. Show. Dude, I, 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 I had no lessons, right? I had to learn this shit by myself. Yeah, if you just play, yes, yeah, play far back as you can, especially like Johnny Cash, stuff like that. But Elvis had more of that. He had more of a full sound, you know, so I moved closer towards the hole. <laughs> just move closer towards the sound hole. And you'll get more of that full, but with Johnny Cash, that flat top, I move back. That old cheap flat top sound is, is, is how I hear it in my head. Now, that could be very wrong, but that's how I hear it in my ear. 
Yeah, I don't think this one's going long, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, round numero uno. All right. Let me get this out of the way. Oof. Oh, Carl tried to come in there with a big overhand right, dude. Oh, Williams. Oh, Justin and, and Carl. Woo! Son, Justin tagged him with a check left. Oh, my God. I got the timer up there? Okay, good. Heavy body kick. Heavy body kick right there from Noel Justin. Dude, Carl's no, no slouch either, sir. I mean, he tried to fire off that fake left and overhand right. It did not land, but my God, did he try to go for it. Oof. Jesus Christ, Justin cracked him with a big left hand. Oh, Carl is in trouble. Woo, with a knee. Big knee from Justin, dude. Dude, Carl is like, how he's still standing and walking around with all the oxygen going, I have no idea, but he went to go in there, step in with that nice knee, hit him right in the face, but he kind of fell back, and Justin just dove on top of him in guard right there. Holy shit, that was crazy. Wow. Whew. Yeah, Justin's hitting him with some hammer fist. Uh, or, excuse me, Carl's hitting him with some hammer fist. Justin's hanging on around the back side of that neck, not allowing him to move too much there. Looks like he's trying to get into side control, not, not not so much as the modified half guard. He's turning into him, trying to crawl. Yeah, he's got that right leg, yeah, that right leg trapped. Carl is still trying to crawl across that front. Big elbows, almost trying to crucify him. Yep, there you go. Stepped on the arm. He's got the knee on the arm. Big elbow again. Justin finally gets that arm out of there. Dude, he was almost crucified badly. Carl's still hanging on to him. Justin's trying to stand up on one knee, both feet now. Carl shoots back down there, grabs a hold of a single, one underhook, hanging on both arms like this right here for Justin. Justin tried to pull out of that way. It did not work. Carl hammer fist, big right hand as he sits back down on his backside. Carl is just like relentless dude on top of him. Hanging on around the backside, these uppercuts, up underneath the body with that left hand is nasty from Carl. Williams is not playing. And, and dude, he's he's got his whole chest real high up on that back. I mean, he's just kind of making him hold him. Just making him hold him. <laughs> I mean, I ain't that good, Scott. Settle down. Uh, but we'll talk about it a little bit more here in just a minute. Heavy knees. I mean, big knees from Carl, dude. Dude, he 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 picked up Justin. Grown manned him. He couldn't get him down. He tried to swing the legs. The legs went the other way. Justin stood right back up, though. But, I mean, he was off his feet and tried to sling his ass down. Jesus Christ. It's a lot of energy to use, though. He's still hanging on around the backside of that waist. Justin turns back into him, though. Gets an underhook in, trying to stop. Carl hangs on to that right leg single. I mean, he's both hands around, pulling it to him. Yeah, I mean, Justin's just screwed because he just gets up real high, stands up, and Justin falls flat over. He just loses his balance. Gets in the guard again, laying right back on top of him. Justin just hangs on around the backside. Not allowing him to do anything. That head way up around the ears. A little bit of neck control. Carl's trying to throw down some elbows, but that wrist control is nasty from Justin. He's not allowing too much. Oh, that was a big right hand. Jesus Christ. An up kick. Wait, he was on, he's on his back. And, and he like up kicked him in the face. Or like almost up underneath the chin. But I mean, he it's like, I, I, I thought if you was on your back and he's on top of you, you had some up kicks, that was fine. Even though he's, he's an, I guess, a downed opponent. Can Scott give your number? My number. Yeah, he emails me.
All right, that's the end of round one. Oh, Justin's going to be tired, though, because I'm here to tell you right now, that motherfucker laying on you for four minutes, that shit is not good. That is not good. <clears throat> I'm thirsty. We'll see. Food Fight Live. Food Fight Live at gmail.com. Super simple. I mean, Carl clearly won round one. But, hmm. Yeah, foodfightlive at gmail.com. Eight dollars. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sitting here staring at that. I'm like, what is that? Look at Matthew, y'all. Give, give him a hand. Matthew's new to this deal. He's able to just finally get his bank account. I'm going to give that some love. That knee was right under the chin, but I mean, he, 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 Justin tried to climb too far forward and, and Carl got way down low. Here we go. Round number two. I don't think this was going to make it to two, but it did. Holy shit. Justin ain't getting nowhere near close to that cage, dude. He's staying flat footed out there in the middle. He's like, nah, a little bit, a little bit of Paul and at each other, heavy kick to the body. For Justin, Carl tried to throw an overhand right, just blocked that time. Justin's still standing right right in front of him. Nice lunging in there with a nice right hand. Didn't have a whole lot on it, but did land. Carl's flinching on him, trying to get that left hand, just pawing. Nice front kick to the belly for our old Carl. Heavy kick again to the body for Justin. Justin tried to lunge in there with a nice right hand at the midsection. Did not land on that one, though. Did not land. Still pawing at each other's hands right here. Still standing right there in the middle. Justin's trying to set up that overhand left. Heavy kick again to the body. That body kick is working for Justin. That shit will take your toll, son. I mean, they are landing, too. Big ones. I mean, he switches those hits and slings it, son. Carl fakes the left. Overhand right. Just out of reach that time. Just out of reach. Carl still trying to... Dude, he wants his shit on the ground, but Carl, uh, but uh, Justin's like, nah, hell nah. He's trying to distract him with these low calf kicks that have zero on them. I could take that calf kick he just give out. So Justin will bite for it, but he is not. Dude, he's like, hell no, nah, I ain't biting for your shit. You want to try to drag my ass to the ground and lay on top of me? Justin again tried to hit him with two big check left hands. It did not land at either one of them. Either one of them landed. Or, excuse me, either. Neither one of them. Justin's still pawing at him, dude, right there in front of him, trying to set that up. As soon as he did, Carl ducked up underneath, grabbed a hold of a single. Justin sprawls out, pushes him off, hits him with a big left hand, backs his ass up back to the middle of the octagon. I mean, he's trying to lunge in there with that nice right hand as Justin, but, I mean, it is just out of reach. Carl finally hit him with a nice left, tries to back him up, bait him in a little bit. Justin didn't bite. Hoof fakes the left. Check right. Again, oh shit. Justin went real high for a head kick. It did not work. Slip, fell down, and Carl dove on top of his ass. Sky K runs food by life. <laughs> Sky K is always here, folks. Y'all new to the show. He's been here a lot, lot of years. Carl is sitting on that left leg. He's not trying to. He's not trying to advance his position, but he's still sitting on that right leg of, of uh, Justin's. But Justin's keeping those. Like he's got his head so far down. Like the forehead. His forehead's sitting on his sternum down there. And, and Justin's using his arms to keep him out there in front. Hoof. Carl hit him with a big right hand that time, though. Holy shit. Carl's trying to, like, grab a hold to a single while he's on the ground? The fuck is going on here? Big elbow to the side from Carl. Justin's, like... Carl is sitting on his right leg and he's trying to roll on roll into that right leg and hang on to that arm, but it's not working. Carl just pushes him back over after hitting him three, four times with a big, big lefts. Big lefts. He 
Yeah, Scott's been around for a good minute. A solid minute. How about that? Solid. I could probably go back and look at like the first. Oh, he stepped right into that arm triangle. He stepped. No, no, no. You, you was right. Oh, dude, Carl had him. He was in an arm triangle. He stepped over and was put in pressure, but then he stepped back into full mount. What the? F dude, he had him. He had him. Justin started flopping around, and Carl stepped back over it. Dude, he, he, he had him submitted. I, what? I bet his corner was screaming at him. He had him, dude. He had that arm triangle in, son. He had stepped all the way over the body, had it in, and then tried to crawl into full mount instead of just choking him out. What a fucking moron. Wow, that's the end of round two. That was so, dude, he had him in that, in that arm triangle. I mean, he had him. He even stepped over. Oh, I bet they cussing his ass out in the corner right now. Like, what in the fuck are you doing? Dude, you had him. He could have submitted him. Yeah, Matthew been around a long time. I could probably... Let me see something. Let me see something. Um, Scott emailed us pretty quick about t-shirts. Let's see. Let me go backwards. No. Oh, that's weird, Scott. I don't have that many... I thought I had more emails, but the last email or the first email I have on Food Fight Live from you is from like 22 or 21, September. I know you've been here longer than that. I mean, you was here all through COVID. You've been here. Like, that's weird that I, I, I don't understand. That. All right, let me get back to this. Sorry. I, I, I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out. All right, here we go. Round number three. A lot of pollen. These Both these boys are exhausted. I mean, it's tired. You can see it in both of them. Neither one of them, they're barely holding their hands up. And, and dude, Carl just wants to lay down. He, he's waiting to shoot for a single to get down to the ground to lay on top of him. He tried to step in there. Big left hand from old Justin and a big right hand. He tries to shoot down there for a single. Carl is on Skatty Street, son. Justin tried to hit him again. Big uppercut. Left hand. Dude, Carl is doing everything he can to hang on around the waist. He's getting his ass whipped. Justin is doing all he can to push off of him. Hits him again with another right hand. Carl shoots down and hangs on to a single. Left hand. Left hand. Left hand. All Justin right that second. Dude, Justin was beating his ass dude Carl was holding on around the waist and just drove him right into the ground dude Carl just gets real low and just and just keeps walking real fast like just pushing him and and, and old Justin just can't keep up but they both tired mouth open breathing hard Justin's not really doing anything I mean he's or excuse me Carl's not doing anything he's he's got wrist control on both wrists Justin's just kind of sitting there but he's not throwing. He's got his head down, hands around the waist. He hasn't thrown a strike in 40, 50 seconds. Almost a minute. He's still hanging on. Justin's just making him pull him. Like you want to pull. He has still yet to throw a strike. Hang, I can't believe has, Dean hasn't stood him up. I mean, he has not done anything. He has his wrist, wrist control, and he's just sitting there. Even Justin's like, he, he's not, he's still yet to throw a punch. He has both hands on the right wrist and is not done. Okay, he finally threw this. I mean, I could have took that to the face. That's how weak it was. All right, he threw two more. He's just hanging on the wrist control and laying on his right leg. That is all he's doing, nothing else. Oh. 
Maybe that's what it is because I only got I got them from from September of twenty one. I, I, I know better than that. I know better than that. Dude, I'm telling you right now, Carl is just laying on top of him. He threw those two shots, and he ain't done anything yet. Two shots in um, almost two minutes. Oh, wait, he just threw a knee to the outside of the thigh. Another knee. So there's two knees. Oh, there's three. That's it. Well, he just kind of, he did that. Like, Justin has stood back up. Or not stood all the way up. He's got his feet flat on the ground trying to stand back up. Carl's hanging on around the backside of the waist and just try. He's literally just trying to hang on and pull down. That's it. I mean, he, he does not want to fight. Oh, almost got him with a knee on the exchange there. Back to the middle. They go. All right. I'll look here in just a second. One minute to go now. Justin tried to hit him again with a big left hand. He missed. And Carl shoots down there trying to get a hold of that double. I mean, he's exhausted backing up. He can barely go backwards. Justin's right back on top of him, though. 50 seconds. Try to hit him again with the left hand. Carl just grabs a hold of that left leg and puts his head down by his knee and just hangs on. That's it. Hangs on to the leg. Now he's sitting on top of his leg. He he He's... He is like doing this. He's just laying on top of him. Just laying there. I mean, this is this shit sandwich. He's throwing his left hand. He's boxing the mat. He's not even, it's like, dude. He, cause he ain't looking. He's got his head in his armpit damn near. And he is not doing it in 10 seconds. The clock, now he postures up and acts like he's going to do a hammer fist. Nah, it's fucking piss poor. Whatever. Nah, that's bullshit. All right, uh, let me check my email. Uh, refresh. Uh, oh, shit. Inbox. What we got here? Oh. What, you got some jerky? Part two? Oh, yeah, little jerkies. That's nice. Scott. Scott guy. There we go. Let's see. Uh, who's that? That's not you. Do, 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 do. Hmm. I have your old email, but it's still not coming up. I don't know. It's been a long time, y'all. How about that? That shit looks good, Matthew. That shit is, yeah. I love jerky. Dude, it's like I eat jerky, but then I'm like, fucking, of course, old fucking Carl won, dude. He laid on him the entire time. All right, we got the clams. They about to get going, son. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> All righty. Here we go. Okay. But yeah. But that's the only bad thing about jerky, dude. I'll keep eating it. Next thing, I'm like, damn, my fucking jaw. It's like killing me. You 
Yeah, just it's got Sonic does a lot of laying. A lot. A lot of laying. Let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, wait a minute. I got to go back some. All right. Let me go back one more. Um, let's see. Let me go one more. Okay. I don't see it. I mean, I see. I see when you donated to PayPal, way back when. But I don't. I mean. But that wasn't like, let me go back one more. Yeah, and PayPal was 2020, 7 11 of 20. Yeah, because, yeah, hey, fellas. But I know you've been here before 20. I just don't have anything from PayPal, but I don't remember when we set up the PayPal either. Or whenever I did. I don't remember. I bet I could go back and find it. I just don't know. It's been almost four years and a month or so. Who do we have He, Oh, Rebus. And oh, Thug Rose. But yeah, I mean, it's uh, our Boswell around eighteen, nineteen when I first started watching. Yeah. Well, I know it wasn't twenty because that was like COVID, right? When was COVID? That was like twenty. It was before that. I know that for a fact. I know that for a fucking fact. But uh. Boswell, old Big Dick Boswell, he was around like right off the bat because he was working at night and listening. He operated heavy machinery, so he'd listen. But yeah, he I, I remember him being around like he was like the first one. That's the first like person I remember like constantly coming was Boswell. Yeah, old Big Dick, he was around for a minute. Like I, I'm telling you, like it was like I, I, he's the first one I remember like con like like constantly commenting in here all the time. And for y'all don't know, old Boswell, he passed a little while back. He had into a an accident at work, and like, if you a man, like, right on his junk, and like, messed it all up, and then he got an infection. But yeah, he was in like bad shape for a while, and then he was like, thought he turned a corner, but then got some like some got some kind of infection and. No, wasn't no good. And I got a call from his wife. But yeah, we sent him like a care package. 
And he didn't say anything. And I was like, what the fuck's that about? Because usually he like hit me up. But he didn't say anything. And I was like, that's weird. So I sent him a message. And then his wife gave me a shout. Told me what was going on. I knew he got in his accident. I knew all that stuff. I knew he was like, but yeah, I didn't know. But yeah, I guess he got the infection. And, and dude, it was like, from what she said, like a week. Gone. It's crazy. It was crazy. It was like so fast. We call him Big Dick Boswell because he had like eight kids. My man loved to fuck all the time. <laughs> but yeah, it was crazy. But Boswell was a real one. He rarely, and I mean rarely, missed a show. He may he may say I'm not I can't talk because I'm driving. Or I'm operating right now. But, I mean, he was like, I'm, I'm here. I'm listening. Oh, yeah. Him and, uh, yeah. No, it was him and, uh, what was that guy's name? Yeah, his shit was Crazy. Yeah, you're right. It was Nettie. you right. It was Nettie. Him and Nettie went wild, dude. Like, I mean, it was like purple. I ain't never seen purple. It was like 200. He's like, oh, that's uh, that's all you got? And he put 250. I mean, dude, it was fucking insane. That shit was crazy. That night, dude, that, that, that night was, yeah. Old Big Dick Boswell was not fucking around, son. He was not, but yeah, him and Nettie went buck wild. And then somebody else jumped in on it. I don't remember who jumped in on it, but it was like crazy. But yeah, it was, that was, uh, what's weird is we've had some like people that came and then like they've like disappeared and they used to donate like, like a lot. Like every every time they showed up was fifty right off the bat, boom. Dude, I, yeah, Tony was dude. I'm, Tony lives in Oklahoma. For y'all that don't know, on a big ass spot, like had all kinds of dirt and shit. He, like he operated like you, you, you seen that shit on TV where they got them giant bulldozers and shit, like for the mines and shit. Yeah, he drove one of those. One of those giant fucking like D six hundreds or something, D eight hundreds or whatever. I mean, just fucking massive. Those earth movers, like for real ones. But he loved to fuck. He always having cheerwins. But his company, from what she said, took care of him and took care of them. Like, yeah, they made like everything great. So there's no worries. You know, she's like, we'll never have to worry. You know, so I, I, I'm happy for that because this company took care of him. Because, hey, dude, I'm here to tell you, Tony fucking work for y'all that don't know. I mean, my man work every day. Like, if he could go to work, he's going to work. Six, sometimes seven days a week, 70, 80, 90 hours a week. My man just work all fucking day. Pay for all them damn children's. Yeah. She ain't winning no fights coming out of this music. <laughs> I can't hear the music, Jeffrey. But yeah, he sent me a picture. Uh, Tony. Let me see here.
Let me see. I think I got a picture. Where is it at? <laughs> I'm trying to find it. I was going to show y'all. Okay, he sent a picture one day of like his equip, like his machine that he operated. That shit. I was like, "What the fuck is that, dude?" I was like, "Holy shit!" Yeah, we went away for a minute. Had to regroup. Had to regroup. Killed some momentum, but you know it is what it is. You know, he started doing his business and shit, and he's just like, can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. You know, I was like, yeah, I was like thinking that we was doing this shit together. So I was like, well, I won't do it either. You know, figuring it was going to be a a week, turned out for months. But I can do it on the weekends. I don't have no problem. It's just when they have this motherfuckers at like four o'clock in the afternoon, it's like I, I'm just unavailable at that time. You know, so it fucks me all up. Rose is a favorite. 225. Wow. That's aggressive. I thought it would be more of a coin flip. Dude, if y'all can see this, I know some of y'all can't, but dude, Mar- Joe. Oh. Joe Martinez, I mean, that motherfucker looked like he picked the suit out at Coles or Marshalls or wherever you find a cheap ass suit. That motherfucker looks like it's from 1984. Like it was a hand me down. God, it don't even fit good. I mean, you say Revis has got this, but she a huge dog. Three to one, dude. Three to one. Oh, Herzog May is, is the referee. Ah, uh, that fucking loser. What a real fucking trashy human. Or a real piece of shit. He is. Old Sal. Is the lady with the hair a good fighter? <laughs> you talking about Rebus, Amanda Rebus? Old Thug Rose. Yeah, yeah, she's my right now minus two twenty five favorite. I'm assuming it's gonna be five rounds. It's the main event, but there's no belt, so yeah, plus one eighty five. Yeah, oh, oh, Rose, dude, is not even uh, is not even ranked. Rebus is number eight in the world. Rebus is a good fighter. I mean, I can't believe that uh, oh, Rose is uh, is such a favorite on this deal. Who? Thug Rose? Nah, dude. She ain't fine. I hope you ain't talking about her. She got that like that that boyish looking face, like just round and no. Ooh. I'm not I'm not I'm not hearing that. No. Alright, here we go. Round n- number one. Rebus is going to try to set up a little bit early. Try to get in there heavy. Try to get in there early with a nice inside leg kick. It did not work. Oh, thug, dude. She's like, she's fast on her feet, though. She can change levels and change angles so quick. That's what makes her dangerous, dude. She's Her, her angles are, she fights at such a weird angle. Reba wants to fight right there in front of you most of the time. Rebus is like, boom, big left hand from thug right off the bat, dude. Just overhand left, bam. Popped her real quick. Heavy inside leg kick from Rebus that time. That was good, but she's swinging a missile when it's up too. 
Yep, she tried to, Thug tried to get up underneath there, hit her with a right hand. It did not work. Rebus comes firing in there with a nice inside leg kick, overhand left. Well, she's switching, getting all fancy with those that footwork. Spinning back, kick to the midsection for Rebus. Rebus tries to shoot down there for a double, gives up on it. One under hook in, turns to let loose, hits her with a check right, backs up off of her. Thug still right there in front, not moving so much on the feet. Rebus is like all over the place. Tried to come in there with an overhand left. Swing and a miss goes right off the top of the head. Lunging in there with a nice left hand. Does old thug. Thug hit her again. Check left again, son. Rebus still standing right there in front of her. trying. To, she's like constantly doing like this. It like drives me absolutely crazy. She's trying to change levels and act like she's going to do something. But thug stands pretty, pretty consistently right up the middle, dude. As soon as Rebus tries to act like she's going to do something, Thug with an overhand right pops her, then the left jab right down the middle. Rebus fires back a nice two-piece and a spinning back oblique kick. That was weird. Oh, Rebus just grabs a hold around the waist, kind of runs her down into the ground real fast. Thug Rose stands right back up, though. Stands right back up. Yeah, she looks like a boy, dude. Yeah, it's like she has that boy round face. Like, nah, dude. She is so not hot. So I guess you're talking about Rebus, but I can kind of see that. But somebody was talking about that the other day. They, 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 they're right now in the clinch, a little bit of knees to the upper thigh from, from Rose. They finally break right back to the middle of the go. 226 to go round one. Yeah, this is five rounds. Rebus tried to lunge in there with an overhand right, swinging a miss, though. She's, I mean, she's bouncing, going all over the place. Thug standing right there in front of her, though, like, fuck you, bitch. Lunges in there with a nice left hand. Rebus tries to follow it up with a check right, swinging a miss on hers. Thug got a little too excited. Overhand right, swinging a miss on that. Rebus tried to pop her with a two-piece, swinging a miss on that. Lunging in there with a nice left hand, does Thug. Rose looking good, though. Rebus still... Bouncing all over the place like she on cocaína. Big knee to the belly. Grabs around the back side of the neck, son. Th- just hip tosses her ass, does uh, Rebus, but it did not work out. Rose continued to roll with her now in side control. Rebus flat on her back, 132 to go. Rose steps over that leg, that left leg of Rebus, using that arm, trying to crawl up a little higher to, to trap it crucify her ass covering her mouth using that nice elbow getting up a little bit nice elbow Rebus is trying to hang on to that wrist but Thug just dropped that elbow right on her cheek again nice right hand still in a little bit of modified half guard just covering her mouth dude just oh Thug Rose it's like bitch you can't breathe using that using the the forearm just pushing it right on her throat Rebus is trying to hit her with some left hands, but it's not working. She's trying to hang on around the backside of Rose's neck, but Rose is covering her mouth, using her forearm, right in her throat. It's like Rebus is just kind of trying to hang on. Big elbow to the top of the head from Rebus, though. Still, Still hanging on. She ain't let go of that neck. 25 seconds to go round one. Oh, another elbow from Rebus, dude, from the top, son. That's just bam. Thug is, I mean, she's got her forehead on Rebus's nipple. So she can't like, she's, she's, she's so low that Rebus is hanging on around the backside of the neck. She cannot like go forward because of the angle that she's at. She stands up, Rebus stands up, puts her hands in the air like this. It's like, I, come on now. Settle down. Settle down. I don't know why you put your hands up. Okay, you. she didn't beat your ass on the ground, but it was like uh, you was kind of getting beat up there for a minute. I know Scott wants you to win, but it's like uh, you was not winning. <laughs> you, was, you was definitely not winning. Both ladies sitting down. 
Got a little ice on the back, a little ice on the chest. Yeah, Rebus is in her corner to act like she's trying to be all calm and patient and shit. That spinning back kick to the belly, to the midsection was nasty. But, I mean, she did run her to the ground. But after that, it was like the thug took over. You swung and a missed a lot. I mean, she tried to run her down to the ground, but then you ended up in the worst position. It's like, yeah, you took this to the ground, but then you it was bad for you when you got there. <laughs> It's like, uh, don't be talking shit because it didn't really work out. She does a whole lot, so you think she's doing a lot, but it's a lot of swinging and missing going on. Reba's still trying to throw those things, throw those legs, swinging and miss on those, try to throw overhand right, swinging and miss on that. Though pops her with a nice little right hand. Reba sends a left back that both do land. Reba's fights so far back like this with her legs like way out that Rose just kind of pops her really easily. Nice body kick from, from Rebus that time. You think there's a lot going on with Rebus, but it's like not. If she was to stand still, she'd be born as fuck. Thug put her head down. Lunges in there with a nice right hand down the middle. Rebus tried to hit her with a left hand, swinging a miss on that, but nice leg kick. Again, try to hit her with a check right hand. She's bouncing around. Looks like she's doing something. It's not working. Rose is bobbing under... Bobbed underneath the right hand and the left hand. Popped her with a nice left hand. Rebus did come back with a left hand down the middle, but that was about it. It looks like she's done everything, but done shit, actually. Again, Thug popped her with a nice two-piece. Rebus throws a right hand, bouncing all over the place, but swinging it a miss. No, the fastball, swinging a miss. Thug, left hand, down the middle, lands. Rebus throws a left and a right hand, hits her on both shoulders, and that's about it. Spinning back, kick, did land to the belly. But that's all that happened there. I mean, Reba's got to, you know, Reba's has got to try to, you know, build herself up. But I understand. Only one. Hoof. Reba's tried to throw a left hand. Thug ducked right up underneath and popped her with a nice right hand. I mean, try. I wish, I, I, Rebus is throwing some fastballs, but they are missing. Like all three of those left hand, right hand, spinning back kick. Rose is gone before they get there. Rose tried to throw a left hand, and Rebus ducked to the right. She boxed her right in the arm. Rebus again, left hand, left hand, right hand. All three miss. Oh, look at her. Look at Rebus kick her right in the backside. Two more right hands and try to act like she was going to smack her. Swinging a miss on that thug with an overhand right to the titty. That's about all I can say. Rebus act like she's going to do something. Thug shoots down. Grabs a hold of both legs. Slams her on the back. Rebus pops right back up though. Overhand right lands for thug. Rebus finally throws a right hand that lands. Rebus tries to grab her around the backside. Is she going for a heel hook? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, she lost it. And then she's she's trying to hip throw uh, Rose, but it's not working. I mean, she's doing... It. If you didn't know anything about fighting, you would think she was beating the shit out of Rose. But Rebus is the one leaking. Rose just goes right with her. She tries that hip toss. She throws her and then rolls right with her. And now she's in guard. It's like it's it, 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 it's not working out real good for Rebus. I thought she would do a little bit better. She's like missing a lot. She's doing a lot of these. You know, so her punch count's kind of adding up. But it's a lot of this. It's like Rose is trying to crawl into full mount here. Sitting on that right leg. She kind of, uh, Rebus has her left leg way up high. Thug's sitting on her right leg. And Rose is still trying to crawl over, but she she didn't work. Rebus gets that left leg back over, and basically Rose just gets right in the, right in the mount. Or, or excuse me, not right in the guard. Sitting in guard, forehead on the chest, motorboat. That's what's happening right now. Rose is doing a little bit of motorboat. 
Rebus has got that left arm right around the backside of the neck. And I mean, I mean, she's, there's a lot of little bullshit punches from Rebus. That was a good elbow, finally. But other than that, it's a lot of like this. Like she's knocking on the door. Like, hey, can I come in? I mean, Rebus is just hanging on, got one hand around the backside of the neck and, and right, her legs wrapped around her and she is not letting go. I mean, she is like, fuck you. And then again, Rebus stands up, puts her hands in the air. Uh, you had someone on top of you for two minutes. I, I don't know why you keep throwing your hands up. I mean, I guess, you know, build your confidence. <laughs> but that's not, you're losing right now. It's it, it, it's two two zero Rebus or uh, uh, Thug Rose. Thug Rose won both rounds. Her and her total strikes are up to sixty seven. But I'm telling you, all these count when she's just when they're wrapped up and she's doing this. That all counts. So it's like she's looking serious, like she's taking instruction, all the stuff. It's like, come on, lady. You're not doing good. A lot of bouncing, a lot of happening around. Yeah, it, it, Matthew, you can see it's not working. Rose ends up on top. It's like it looks real cool, but you ended up in a bad position. Yeah, you hip tossed her, and then she was on top of you. So that, that that didn't work. <laughs> that's, that's terrible. All right, round three. Rebus tries to throw a high kick, swinging a miss on that. Same thing with the right head. And another right hand. Got to go up stop with a high kick. Rose just waits, step out of the way. Overhand right just pops her ass real fast. Thugs bobbing and weaving, son, up underneath those left and right hands that Rebus is throwing wildly in the air. Again, went with a high kick over top of the head. Thug ducks up underneath it. I thought I thought Rose was going to push her ass to the ground, but she did not do it. Rebus tried to lunge in there with a the left hand, swinging a miss on that. Spinning back kick did not land. She missed by two feet. Heavy leg kick, ducks up underneath that left hand. Rose pops her ass with another right hand. Thug went to go upstairs with a high kick and slipped. Popped right back up. Rebus like, like she was going to try to take advantage. It didn't work. Thug lunges in there with a nice left hand to the midsection. Heavy kick to the body again. Rebus is left swinging by herself. By herself. Thug just, I mean, she's just staying up underneath that right hand. Again, fakes that left overhand right. Just pops her ass again, dude. Rose is not fucking around. Rebus is throwing left hands, but Thug is way away from her. Nice, nice leg kick from Rebus. Nice. That was a good one. I I, I, it's, I don't understand this. She's doing this. I'm, I'm not joking. She's not doing this. She's doing this. It's like it, it looks it looks funny to me. Rebus. Thug is, is boxing her. Rebus is like wanting to act like she's doing some boxing. It's not working heavy knee to the midsection. For Rose. Hers all just standing over there just watching this shit. <laughs> Try to do like a spinning back fist, but Thug is two feet from you. It's like this shit looks cool, but it didn't work. Again, try to throw her overhand right. Gets off the shoulder. Thug just backs up, pops her with a nice two-piece. Right back to the middle they go. Rebus is throwing hands, but by herself. Try to reach out there with a the left jab. Pop her with it. Rose just... just Boom, boom, just like that. Wham, wham. Again, ducks up underneath one. Lunges in there with a nice right hand. Nice right hand at a midsection. Ducks up underneath. I thought she was going to do something. Rebus tried to hit her with one. Rose, oh, look at Rose left swinging there two times. Rebus tries to do a spinning back kick and a spinning back fist. Neither one work out. The, both of them are missing like a motherfucker right now. Rose tried to hit her with a two-piece. Swing and a miss on hers, too. Rebus is trying to lunge back in there with the check right. Swing and a miss on that one. Rose lands one on the shoulder, but that's about it. 
Again, runs her down to the ground. Rebus grabs a hold around the waist. Runs her down to the ground. Rose stands right back up. They do like a fucking cartwheel. Try to stand back up. Rose hangs onto the leg. Stands right back up into her. Mashes her into the cage. I mean, it looked cool, but nothing happened right there. For either fighter. I should say. I mean, Thug is, is definitely winning the fight. She tripped her, took her. She actually ended up in a good position. Tripped her is inside control right here. Hand around there, hitting her with some nice right hands as Revis. Popped her with two, three of them real fast. Minute to go here. Revis's arm is up underneath her arm as she's trying to hang on to a little bit of wrist control. Both arms up underneath there. Rebus has got one hand around the backside trying to get her out there. Rebus tries to turn into a go- side control. All right. She's trying to get her into an arm triangle, but she's got a... Nope, that didn't work. She let go of it. It's Rebus. Rose is, pulls her knees up real high to her and then turns into her, turns back out of the way to her right side, gets that left leg out of the way. Rebus is kind of sitting off to the side right now, dropping elbows, though. Rebus, boom, three times. Try to hit her again with the right hand, swinging a miss on that one. Thug is pulled in real tight, trying to hang on. Right hand, right hand, right hand. Rebus is putting some work in right this second. Jumps on the back, body triangle in, 10 seconds to go. A little too late to do the right thing now. Rose is hanging on both hands around that wrist. All right, that's the end of round, that one. Now she puts her hands up again. It's like you did something for 40 seconds. Settle down. Don't get excited. <laughs> Maybe. 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 This card is trash. Mr. T, nah, dude. Nah, dude. Mm-mm. No. I don't want no little boy on top of me. That's what she looks like, a little boy. It's not a good look. Rebus was actually, that had some good ground and pound right there. Some good elbows, nice right hands. Oh, of course she is. But if you're watching the replays and y'all watching this fight with me, you see Thug Rose ducking up underneath left and right hands and just cracking her ass. With 30 seconds to go, she gets into a good position and she acts like the rest of the the last fucking 14 and a half minutes didn't count. It's like, bitch, you way behind. Way behind. Round four, championship rounds. Here we go. Rebus is trying to go for a nice oblique kick. Rose is still minus 270, plus 200 for Rebus. She's getting worse. It's like she thinks she's winning this fight. She's going to act so shocked if she loses by decision. I mean, she's doing a lot. She just got a nice leg kick, but Rose popped her ass with a nice left hand. Tried to go in there with a nice front kick to the belly. Did not work. Runs, excuse me. Rose lunges in there with an overhand left. Pops her right in the mouth again. Rebus tries to throw a high kick up there, but Rose is three feet from her. Ooh, there you go, Rebus. Bob's out of the weave that time. Boy, popped her with a nice right hand. Followed up with just a little left jab, but that was nice. That was nice. They both they almost headbutted right there on that one. Rebus again, tried to go down our stairs without the leg kick. Rose up underneath it, sends out another right hand. Yeah, what? They got 30-27 Rebus. Are you fucking kidding me? Are y'all not watching the same fucking fight I am? Get the fuck out of here, dude. Uh, Paul, Derek. All day long. Because he will not fight him up close. 
and get into a gunfight with Tyson. You don't do that, especially in round one. After that, Tyson's an old man. Last time I watched him box in a ring a year ago or a year and a half, whenever the fuck that was when they had that little exhibition, he was exhausted after 40 seconds. He's an old man. Jake Paul's in his prime. Oof, lunging in her with a nice left hand. Rebus tried to hit her with her own right hand, swinging a miss on that and the high kick. Neither one landed. Rose lunges in her with a nice right jab. Do 30-27 for fucking Rebus. Get the fuck out of here. Again, Rebus tried to give her a hip toss. It did not work. Rose is back in guard. Nice elbow to the top of the head. Make it two times for Rebus. I saw that pop up there. That's fucking insane. Nice elbow again. Rebus has that left leg over. They're trying to get into some kind of guard. She's using those elbows. Rose is in a little bit of a predicament here because she's got her right arm up underneath the left leg. And, and Rebus is, is pushing down. and Or not pushing down, pulling her into that leg. Rose is trying to step over that right leg of Rebus so she can get a little better. She's throwing some right hands to the ribs. I mean, just, just slinging them as Rose. But her Rebus's left leg is over top of the shoulder. And, and now Rose crawls up underneath it in guard, throwing right hands heavy to the body. Just right hand, right hand, right hand, right hand, right hand. All body shots. All body shots. Rose still in guard. Trying to trap that right arm. Rebus is hanging on around the, with her right arm, hanging on around the backside of Rose's neck. Drops a nice elbow to the top of the head, but that's kind of it right this second for, for both ladies. A lot, a lot of hand fighting going on right now. My arm's on top of yours. No, my arm's on top of yours. That's kind of what's happening right now. Rebus gets that hand right around the back side of the neck again, just hanging on. 53 seconds to go. Rose still got that just forehead right on the sternum. She needs to posture up. Ro uh, Rebus tried to throw another elbow. Rose moves out of the way to her right to keep that from happening. Rose is still, she's real high. Uh-oh. Is she going to get, get a triangle happen right now? No. Dude, I'm telling you right now, Rose almost set up into a fucking triangle. I mean, her elbow was just mashed in that clam. Like, pushing hard now. Like, get off me. I mean, that would have been terrible. Set up into a fucking triangle? That would have been bad. When Rose tries to posture up, that's exactly where Rebus goes. One, of course, she's going to jump up with hands up now. So I guess whoever said that earlier is like, oh, yeah, 4-1, Rebus. Oh, Cheryl. He got tired super fast. Yes, he did, dude. But you got to understand, yeah, I mean, uh, words aside, le 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 we're talking about a dude in his 20s versus a, a damn near 60-year-old man. Not a just regular old dude. We're talking about a dude in great shape. Prime time shape. It's like 20-something-year-old ass whips your 60-year-old ass off. All day long. I don't give a fuck how good a shape you are. Now, if, if Paul think gets cocky and gets forehead to forehead with Tyson and wants to fight there, he will get knocked out. But under no circumstances will that ever happen. He is not going to get forehead to forehead with Tyson. It's never going to happen. Never. No, under zero circumstances will he do that. If he does, he's an idiot and he will get knocked out. But he's, I, I, his training and everything he's been doing, I guarantee you, is fighting long, which is what he likes to do anyway. So, yeah, no. 
Dude, Rebus is throwing Superman punches, big left hands, but Rose is like two feet from her. Looking fancy as fuck. Yeah, it's going to decision. It's round four or round five. Again, ducks up underneath that left right and pops her with a nice right hand as Rose. Again, up underneath, nice right hand, ripping left hand of the body. Rebus is, at, dude, spinning back fish. Rose is four feet from her when she does this. I mean, if she was fighting a ghost, she'd be wearing them out. Again, high kick upstairs, nowhere in the world. Okay, there's somebody, 39-37, Thug Rose. Okay, Jesus Christ. I guess they had to put something up there after that fucking 30-27 Rebus. Get the fuck out of here. There's another one, 39-37. It's like, get the... I have it, 39-37 Rose. Yeah, it's like, dude, whoever put that up there is smoking crack. I mean, Rebus is throwing all kinds of right and left hands and high kicks and spinning back kicks, but nobody's there when it happens. She's not landing shit. It looks fancy. She finally lands a right hand to the, to the, to the, to the body. That's it. Thug is plotting, hitting her with nice left and right hands when she's just, just jabbing her up. Reed, uh, uh, Rebus goes upstairs with a high kick again. Bounces all around. Act like she did something. Nothing happened. You missed her by a mile. Oh, finally lands a nice right hand as they break the clinch. Does Rebus. But she took two in the meantime. Spinning back kick for Rose. Got blocked. Nice front kick. Rebus left swinging right-handed wildly. Nothing there. Nobody there. Again, Thug just... Moves to the, out of the way to her right, then back left. Hits her with a nice check left. Boom. Out of the way to her right. Rebus tries to hit her with a right, left, two-piece. Swing and a miss. Those are gone. Finally lands two up here on the top of the head as Thug ducks up underneath one. Did not work. Woo! Spinning back kick just blocked. That was a good one for Rebus. Rebus, oh, now she's back to fucking high kicking and kicking all over the place when Rose ain't even there. Again, spinning back kick. Rose is four feet from her. When that happens, 148 to go. Spinning back kick blocked. Tried to hit it with a right hand. It went off the left shoulder, or excuse me, the right shoulder. Rebus tries to go upstairs with a high kick again. Lands on the arm. Oh, nice right hand to the body, finally, for Rebus. Thug tried to shoot in there. It did not work. Big knee to the belly right there as they wrap up in the clinch from Rose. Rebus tried to hit her with a right hand as they, as they break, and she missed her over top of the head by a foot. Rose tries to fake that left, hit her with a right hand, swinging a miss on hers as well. Yes, Matthew, yes. Yes, put it in the bank. Look at Thug. Fakes that right. Pops it with a nice left hand. Rebus tries to throw an overhand right. Swinging a miss on that. And the spinning back kick. Fi throws a low calf kick. Takes a big right hand as Rebus. Thug acts like she's going to duck down. Hit her with a left hand to the body. Gives up on it real fast. Rebus tries to hit her with a left hand. Swinging a miss two times. Thug again with that nice little left jab. Just pop. Just pop. Big right hand again for Rose. Rebus tries to throw a right and a left hand and a, and a leg kick, swinging a miss on all three. Rebus again, upstairs with a high kick, spinning back kick, neither one land. Swinging a miss on the right hand. All right, I, I mean, it's... Yeah, Rose won all day long. If she loses this, this I, I mean, Rebus is still over here like this. Like she's like, she won. So, of course, she's going to act like she's extremely disappointed. But you lost.
And these takedowns, four takedowns. It's like you went down and then got rolled on top of. It's like that's literally not even damn near a takedown. I don't know who the fuck is writing, uh, putting these scores up here, but this is terrible. We'll see. Yeah, she acting like she won each round. But she didn't. She lost the first three all day long. Oh, fuck, I got the timer on. It's terrible. Oh, Rose over here like this. Dancing to the music. I'm telling you right now, Rebus is getting right act like she was robbed. Rose just standing over there with a drink, a little water. What's up? Hers off. Good fight. Good fight, he says. Appreciate it, she says. <laughs> yeah, all day long, dude. Now, I can't hear. Rebus is like, I mean, constantly. Thug Rose, all day long. I mean, that, that, that was like very easy. Unanimous decision. Unanimous. It's like, exactly. I don't know what that means, Adam. That's such a weird thing. Yes, Scott, dude, it's like I wanted her to do something, but she did absolutely nothing. I mean, she looked like she's wearing a motherfucker out. Was that what it was? 49.46? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure she will, dude. Uh, Scott, I'm sure, you know, getting back in the groove of things, you know, yeah, she's got to. She's got to work her way back up there. But, I mean, dude, Rose was like up and underneath. I mean, they're showing some replays. I mean, Scott, you can see, of course. But, I mean, just just popping her ass with that right hand. I mean, constantly. Constantly. I don't know who's... I, I need to... I, I'm going to back it up. I want to call them out. Whoever the fuck that was. 3027 Rebus. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, of course I know he would beat her. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Nah, it was funny. What is next week, y'all? Is it terrible? Ugh, this was terrible. Upcoming. Let's see. On the boardwalk. The boardwalk. Like back to back, back to back with the clams on the main event, huh? Look at there. Oh, look here. Oh, Luke fighting again. Oh, that's gonna be a good one. Chris Weidman, oof. Bruno Silva, oof. Y'all need to like, y'all boys need to like. Ain't y'all been fighting like a long time? The boss. It's actually not terrible. I mean, it's not great. But it's not terrible. But yeah, I definitely going to be here. Yeah. But yeah, I'm definitely going to going to be here. That's a fact. But yeah, it's actually not a bad card. If this is it. So 1 2 Three, four, five, six. So that's that'd be the first fight of the night. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's not great, but it's okay. What about your chubby friend? He gonna make it next? No. I guarantee he ain't gonna make it. If it's not a big pay per view, he's probably not coming. To, uh, uh, let's just be. That way, it's not a surprise anymore. If it's not a big pay per view, he. It needs to be a big one. He's yes, Matthew. 
it's like uh Weidman uh I mean dude you you, you kind of you both of them Silva needs to retire too dude I think both gentlemen need to if you ask me what about Tyson and Paul yeah Tyson needs to, to not fight plain and simple I mean it's literally that simple. It's that simple. I mean, I, I it is. No, he needs to stop. I mean, you, and I, I listen. I don't think Jake Paul is a is a is a great boxer, right? I mean, I don't think he's a great boxer, but he is a boxer, right? He has training. There is people who are training him that have been training him for the last few years. Okay. This is the facts. We all know it. He has been training. So, a 27-year-old in prime shape, training for two, three years, beats up 58-year-old Mike Tyson. I mean, now 27-year-old Mike Tyson, 27-year-old Jake Paul. That's all. That's all. But twenty, it, you, you, it just, it's not the same, man. You, you, you're tired. You don't, you don't fucking regen as fast. You know when you're almost sixty. Is he in good shape? Yes. Can he still knock you the fuck out? Yes. Is he going to do anything like that? No. I mean, you motherfuckers can come on the show. If y'all want to come on the show, you're more than welcome to come on the show. Now, you ain't going to come sit here with me. But there's one way to do it. All you have to do is get you a green screen and a good camera. And then we will video call each other. And I will put you right here like you're on the show. That's it. It's that simple. But you don't be showing up in here with no bullshit. You got to have a good camera. You got to have a good green screen. You, your camera needs to be on a stand, not you holding it. And you need to have a good lapel mic so we can hear you. What happened to the tattoo thing? Oh, I, I sent it over to uh, for the vector. We'll see what happens. <laughs> exactly. But I will tell you, sitting in this seat, as y'all have all seen, everybody that's been here has seen other people come sit down in here. Okay, y'all have all seen it. Red shirt, other people. When these lights go on and you see your face on that screen, most everybody other than Mikey B and old fucking Tank Abbott, Oh, 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 Dennis, old Tank, just go right on. I've not, it, no, nobody else has sat here. Even guys that train. Mike, how did I, that, that, I can't remember his name right now, they're twins. He come on here, he's like, he froze. Yeah, that was good. He, yeah. They, it's, it's different. It's so different. If you're not used to it, it's like that stage. I don't know if it's stage fright or just panic or or what happens. But other than two people that have sat in these seats, everybody else is froze. Even when people call, they're like, hey, I'm like, what's going on? Food Fight Live. They're like, uh, uh, click. <laughs> so it's funny. But yeah, it's a, it's a, it's definitely uh, something that you got to be prepared for. Everybody, oh, I can do that. It's easy, it's easy. That's what his boy said. It's easy, Jason. That's what his name was, Jason. Oh, oh man, I, I've been doing this training, all this stuff. Sat down here, and you can go back and look. And he goes, he sat like this. He didn't move. Right hand. He's talking real technical. Tried to submit him with an arm bar. 
<laughs> I mean, that shit was so fucking funny. I was dying. He just sit here. His eyes real big. And it was silence. That shit was fucking hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, green screen. And you got to do a pre-run. And if you fucking freeze up, I'm going to just... Because I have a spot. Like, I have a... It's a... Uh, it's a green screen that pulls in from Google Voice. So when you do, like, a web chat, I can see you. And then OBS will green screen your green screen, and it will take off your background, and it will sit you right in the seat. And then I'll adjust the size of the video to make you however big. So it looks like you're here. You sit down, you sit here, and it looks like you're sitting here, but you're not. But most people freeze, so this it is what it is. Yeah. But old, old, old Tank, he's you know he he's the only other one, you know that, that was able to sit down, and just go. Everybody else, Marco, Jason, that uh, other guy, old red shirt, y'all saw him. He sit there. Everybody that comes on. Just sits there. Because they, you know, and I, and I give that to old Mikey B. The flow is pretty good, the, the banter back and forth, so it works out, you know, and, and bam, it's bam, bam, bam. But, but we've been doing it together for years, so it, it does get better as you go. But most people, they, you have to be fast. And most people are funny, but they're not fast. And in, in, in a live situation like this, you, you need to be quick. You're reacting to everything that everybody's being saying, plus the fight. It's a, it's a lot going on, and if you're not used to it, it's overwhelming. And then you you kind of panic a little bit because you get behind and then you have a thought and then you lose that thought because something else is done happening and whatever that was happening, it's we've moved on. So it's like you get caught a lot like not having time to, to say what you wanted to say and then you get out of rhythm. And once you get out of rhythm, then you panic. And once you panic, it's over. That's weird. Everybody else is still good. Derek, I appreciate you hanging out here. Sorry you had to sit through those ads. Mrs. Uh, Derek. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be here. Uh, I will. Uh, sorry, Matthew. No, you're not. <laughs> I'll see you motherfuckers next week. It's nine o'clock. It's not great. Oh, oh, on that pay-per-view, I'm going to try to get here early, dude, on 300. But I'm going to see how early I can get here because I don't want to be sitting on this motherfucking seat for six hours. Oof. It's going to be aggressive. I don't know if I can do it for six hours. I want to. But I don't know. All right, motherfuckers. Foo Fight Live. See y'all next week. Thanks, everybody.